video. I'll check it out. Thank, thank you. It yeah, it's thank amazing. You. Thank you. I'll check it out. Bye. A blessing. Bye. You're supposed to save me there, Good man. Evening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you? I am in Texas. Have you got your new year this week? Um, no, my new year is actually in March. Okay. But I appreciate well, I want to say happy. People. No, because I know there's people out there that have their new year in January yeah, after yeah, the fifth yeah. or something. It's only because you said Shalom. I thought, well, she might have a different new year. That's oh, Shalom, thought. yeah. Man. Get it out there now. Uh -huh. Anyway, hi. How can I help you? And what have you got to add? Uh, um, I think I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask. What's your name again? I'm sorry. This is Auntie my first Jenny. Time it's all right. Oh no, I know you, Auntie. Oh, China. Oh, this is China. 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 Oh, With a Y. Okay. C H Y N A. With a Y. Hey, you're right. Okay. I wanted to ask because I heard you say something earlier about single mothers. Can you elaborate why you um, recommend for men not to <sighs> talk, talk to single mothers? Okay. Um, so, are you a single mother? Well, I was, but I still am. If we want to just go with the definition of me having a child out of wedlock and being a single parent to that child. I mean, yes. you still have your child. But I have a husband. Yes, I still have my child. Okay. Wait. Are you? What did you? Did you have a child by somebody else? And you're married from someone else. Yes. Okay. So, but you're married though. Yes. Oh, you've won, but I'll speak about okay, but you okay, so all right, all right, so most men don't want to be stepfathers. Yeah, most men don't want to be stepfathers. Yeah. Most men don't grow up just like most women don't grow up and say, I, I can't wait to bring up another man's child or another woman's child, right? I know, and I'm gonna speak in a way which people haven't spoke, but this is how I'm gonna speak, because this is how men speak. So what we're gonna find is right, so when women ask for a stepfather, they don't realize what they're asking for a man to do. So I'm going to explain some of the things. So if I have a child, for example, if you have a child already and I come into your life, uh, ultimately, if I'm a man, I'm going to be a provider man. I'm going to have to provide for you and that child. Now, a lot of times women will say, no, it's not your responsibility if I'm dating you, even just dating, but it is going to be your, become your responsibility. If you are in that house now, you're going to be responsible for that child. So we'll start it like this. Let's say you've got one child, then we have our own child. All right. Um, is the father still in the picture? This, this is another factor. You know, some men are in the picture, some men are not in the picture, some some relationships are messy. So that's one of the factors that a lot of men don't want to have to deal with a third person in the relationship. If, in, in terms of financing and living a life that we want to live, now, if you have a child, we, we're going to treat it as you have one child and I'm coming in now and you, you we want to get married. If I want to have, so if we want to buy an apartment, we can maybe have a one bedroom, two bedroom, just to start us off. Depending on where we are in our life. So let's just talk about just starting off. But if you have a child, ultimately, I'm going to have to buy an extra room for that child. So it's going to be a cost incurred. Regardless if I don't see it now, it's going to be a cost incurred. A lot of the times, women will say, oh, you don't have to pay for the child. Um, but what I'm going to make you understand is, I've used this before and people don't like it. But I'll have to break it basic to make you understand how men think. So if I took our kids out, both our kids, you know what? Holidays. Let's say I want to go holidays. I want to send my, my child to Disneyland. I want to pay for my child, but we've got your child, but I actually don't want to pay for your child because it's not my child. I actually say, no, get the father to pay for the child. Are you going to be happy with that? Schooling. If I want to send my child to private school because I have the money to do so, but then I choose to send your child to the local comprehensive school, are you going to be happy with that? I say, tell his father to get it. Yeah. If, for example, I'm in a child's life and then, you know, 10 years down the line, whatever it is, for example, if it's a girl, a lot of women bring men into their homes and expect you to take on that child as their own. If she ever makes an allegation, allegation against me of essay, it can happen. Would you look at me as the father of that child or would you look at me as someone, how, what would you believe? Now, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm saying these are some of the things that men have to think about and you put yourself in these scenarios. When you don't put yourself in these scenarios, you never, you, you never ever go through this. Now, what you tend to get is women say, oh, well, a real man will, will step up and look after another man's child. But essentially what they're trying to do is shame you into fixing a problem that they've gone and created. Or they'll say, um, you know, but I had a stepdad and my stepdad was the best influence. Those step stepdads today are not like stepdads of old. Those men were racist. They were actually the man that stepped up. Now women come in sometimes with one, two child and they look at it as a thing, you know, I'm a, I'm a single mother and they think it's a badge. It's not a badge of honor. It's a very big disrespect to come to a man with a child from another man and then expect that man to pay for that child. Men, we don't, you know, there's a saying like in the gamers, we don't, we don't finish another man's save game.
Like, it's, there's not the, you don't come in and start playing another man's 2K or FIFA and be like, yo, I just, no, you don't do that. Those, those aren't your coins. Right. And and I was just breaking it down how men think. No, but I want to break it down. I mean, oh, okay. Okay. can I just break it okay. down as a single parent? I think, yes, you, I think you and I are exceptions. Because we had mm -hmm. both, I was a single parent and I had one child. And the yes, man that I, I, have one. Him, I was going to actually hand him over because I needed a male role model. Mm. I was actually yes. going to give him the child. It wasn't his child. I was actually going to give him the child to look after because I think that he's better than his father and better than a woman bringing him up. But mm -hmm. what I find is that I think that if you find a feminine single mother, and I mean feminine in every sense of the word, mm. then it's okay you find it easier to take on a child. Because in my house, I grew up and, and nobody gets physically punished. Right? So that's a standard that I've always had. No, but... That... So, hang on a minute. So if you meet a man and he's got the same standards as you, so my man can do anything to my child because I know that we have the same standards. Yeah. If it comes to discipline, it'll be the same standards. That's what... And I think that when you, if you, it's a single parent and she's got one child from this dad, one child from that dad, yeah. one child from this, why, why are you going with it? And to, 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 to add it onto it... Mm. When I got back with my son, with my with my man, yeah, he was a single parent. Yeah, but it's different. It's different for a man to be a single parent. Yeah, it is. You know, it is. And and I would just argue another thing. I would say in regards to discipline, can I discipline that child like it's mine? Are you gonna like? And these are the things when it's not you. I, 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 if we ever break up, do I still have access to that child like it's mine? Because technically, it's not my child. So would you then take away that child? These are a lot of things that men have gone through. Friends of mine have gone through it. So when I say, you know. You can be anomaly, she can be. I'm not saying, like, you know, there's not I'm exceptions. I'm thinking we are, because I think that women go out there, they take the men, but they don't give the men all the No, but they're women like her, but I'm sure she... No, I mean, the women out there don't give the men the same rules, like you were saying. But I'm sure she's... Listen, okay, there's some women that it may just go wrong the first time, right? It, for any reason. These women can still get a man and win. They can still... Because they're good women, right, yeah? Like, I'm not saying... So you can still win, like, but how many of you and her are there versus what's going on over no, there? No, that's what I said. You know what I mean? Women like her still win in the end because they represent that small proportion of women that it can go wrong and they say, you know what, it's gone wrong, but let me go and fix up and, and make it get right. And then they'll go get a man that will see, actually, you know what, may because men, we can see that a woman maybe got bamboozled by a guy and she just needs a real man and we'll come and fix it. Not all men, but men can see. That's what she's got. She got a real yeah, man. Yeah, like I'm not. And when let me let me say real man. I don't mean like you can see the way she look at him. No, nah, let me say that again. Like if if you don't do it, you're not a real man. But He's I just mean man. there's a certain type of man that will look at that and say, you know what, I can I can come in and I can fix this. But you need to show me something. And I think that's what you showed, and that's what she showed. That's what I said. We're exceptions. I can't hear you. I can't. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Where's she gone? Have you muted us? Okay. That's oh, yeah. yeah, sorry. I have mute. Sorry, I muted myself when he came in the room. Did you hear? Uh, he don't want to. No, be... she can hear. But Did... I can't. He talk so that we can hear him and not see him. Okay, he can talk. He can hear. Here, here, baby. <laughs> How was it for you, young man, taking on a single parent? Uh, how is it? It's better than I thought it was gonna be. Does it mad like baby baby father drama? Oh no. I'm pretty sure it wasn't none of that going on the You see what I mean? That's a real man. He made sure it wasn't. So if even if there was, he put a stop to it. <laughs> but I also made it easy for him because I understood that. My son is nobody's responsibility but my own. Yeah. And it was a few times that we had conversations where he had to help me realize things where we got to, like, slow stuff down, where I'm, like, I'm trying to put him into a father role too quickly and make him um, be something that he hasn't even decided that he's ready to be yet. Mm. So it took a lot of me just being aware of him and communicating well enough to understand where he coming from and also being accountable for myself mm -hmm. that this is my child and nobody has to take care of him but me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so through that time yeah 
Yeah, no, oh, okay. but did that did that did that change? The the more serious the relationship got to the point of, because obviously he wouldn't have married you if you thought, oh, this is my child, I got to look after him. So it must have changed all the way along. Because I know that with my son, and my partner, they were like friends first, and but my son always had respect, had to have respect, no answering back. But he wouldn't do that to anyone anyway, so he had to show any man respect. And so they yeah. started off as like friends, and they got to know. I mean. They were there sitting there. That's what he at said. Christmas, eating and drinking. That's crazy that you said that. The thing is, mm-hmm. as a man, once you know who you are, and you meet a woman, mm-hmm. and you meet her, her son, and you realize she can she, she she can't know who you are. She she can't build a relationship with you if mm-hmm. you didn't have the son. Because I see in her the mother that I I kind of need. I can't explain it, but it's all in one. Would it have been like, the same I, I if she had... Tell... Sorry, but would you have felt the same if she had four children? <laughs> that's real, and that's real. <laughs> no, because... No, because that's, that's, that's why it's us. <laughs> Yeah, we can give her one child. Because there's women out there with two, three, four. No, nah, but that's what I'm saying. No, nah, hell no. Women with two, you are not going to end. Women with two, three, four, do not look at this woman and think that you're going to get her results. You're not going to get her results. You're, you're not. It's not. Oh, uh, yeah, no, for sure. Hey, no, nah, I came a long way. <laughs> uh, I was married already. And okay. also, um, I've always said I would never date a woman with a children. But meeting her and meeting her son, and say who she is towards me. Without him, she wouldn't be who she was. So have you got full authority so over I am your son? Who I am because I was a mother first, mm. and then I am who I am now as well because I'm an accountable woman. Right. Mm. So I understand his needs. I understand my child's needs, and I understand orders. How old is your child? In the place that they. I'm sorry. How old is ahead. your child? I'm sorry. How old is the child? Oh, he's going to be eight in two weeks. Okay. Oh, good. He, he. Yes. he. Would he have felt different if it was a girl? He said yes. <laughs> See I can I understand mean? that. Yeah. And, and you know what? I think that's just good. You know what? You look happy. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Like, we, we can hear that. We can hear the man. And I just think this is another example that it can happen. But it's because you have accountability. Nah, this came from the like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's refreshing to hear a woman that can hear accountability. Yeah, what do you um, say? He was just trying to say that it came from a lot of fasting and seeking and discovering who he is as a man because when it comes to being a man or a woman you attract what you are so at the place that he was the woman that i am we attracted each other because this is what we both needed it did not matter that i had a child but that no, was one of the building blocks to create me for who i was it sounds so, funny but i would take you with your son versus when you was younger without a son because the sun helps you become who you are today. I hear that. Yeah. I, I hear that. I hear that. We can go with that. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, we can go with that. We can so be... does that does the son does your son see his father? Um, unfortunately his father isn't in his life. You know, I've always wanted him to be. Mm. I'm just like you, Auntie Jenny. I don't do child support. I don't do none of that stuff. Mm. I'm not in the business of making a man do something he don't want to do. The child's there if you so, want to see it, you want to see it. And if you don't, you don't. That's how I am and been like that for the past eight years. That's why it's so easy for you. <laughs> well, I also think that's an ideal scenario for a man as well. So, you know, if you're going to be a, a you know, stepfather, there's nothing better than not actually having, a, not saying nothing better, but if you're going to do it, you can assume the role and there's no other conflicting or anything like that. And, you know, you can be the dad. And that's the and that's really where the, the name stepfather, the dad that stepped up, the father that stepped up. So he can now be the father that stepped up, you know? So, yeah. I want to be real too and say that because there are still challenges for me. Like he may say some things about my son that I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't realize he was doing this, or I didn't realize I need to discipline him. Hang this a minute, way. do you say it like that? Or, you know, I did, I did, you don't say it like that. It, when he pulls up something mm-hmm. about your son, do you say, oh, and how do you react? How do you really react? 
Because whenever he says something, does it, does it, does it, does it hit you then? I take it into account whether I'm offended or not. I just try to see, okay, what he's seeing. Mm. And I think about it. And most of the time, he'd be correct. Sometimes if he's not right, it just be a misunderstanding of the fact that he's still getting to know my son yeah. and the type of person that he is and what type of place he be coming from when he do things. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times he be right. And I just got to put my offense aside. And because, you know, you don't want nobody telling you like, oh, you're not doing the right thing or you're not. Yeah. But that's not the place that he coming from. He know that we're going to be a family. He's unit. coming from a man's point and of view because you're a woman. he's going to be up under him. And if he's going to ever be a good father figure to him, my son has to be this kind of way. Mm-hmm. Like, his, like his biological children will be. Um, well done. Yeah. Good luck, mom. So, I think uh, <laughs> anything else you like to add? Because I'm thinking, well done. Yeah. Um, Auntie Jenny, like, what do you think we can do? So, because I have a channel too. It's called I Feel Talks right now, and I have a couple reaction videos on there. And I'm just thinking, like, what can we do for our sisters to help them to get to where we're at? Like, what do you think the solution is so we don't have more Britney Renners? And we don't repeat this cycle of misunderstanding the man and just not giving him what he needs. I'm a firm believer in talking about your life. I was waiting for you to and say that. You know how I am I just about knew it. She's going to be like, be the facts. change you want to see. Tell them your no, life. Because Show them. I knew it. I, I didn't know about this single. Uh, okay. I didn't know about this single parent thing until it hit social media and I found out because I was just like you. Yeah, you know, a single parent, but my son, everything was great. But then as I go along and I, and I realize that I can see, you can physically see a man that's been raised by a single parent. And they're yes, normally, she can. They're normally wusses. <laughs> and so I think that as an exception to the rule, I think that's what your podcast should be about. You need to, you need to find okay. your niche and there's no single parents that are happily married out there that are, uh, got podcasts. Hey, okay, Auntie Jenny, I like that. Yeah, thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll just add, like, literally, you are what you are what they want to be right now. You're you represent what they're all trying to get. Yeah, you have won. You have done it. Yeah, and what you need to do is is speak to women like you. They're in my comments getting mad at what I'm saying. You haven't got in mad at what I've said. You have had a conversation with me, and the reason you haven't is because you have won versus they haven't, and they're still trying to make it fair. See, so what you need to do is you need to get women that are currently still outside, and they're trying to go against this and say, listen, you can get this outcome, but you need to basically follow my blueprint, and that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Okay. Okay. Always from a humble place, so y'all really didn't beat my head up, but nah, thank listen, you. I listen, appreciate it. It's always humble, but you shouldn't be humble about getting good results and about doing what other people are not doing. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Now, you could be like, you know, F all these other women, you know, I, I've won, forget them, I'm going to keep the secret, but you don't have to do that. So you've, you've got a platform, you've got a channel already, just be honest about your story and get some of these people who haven't got the results or who are, who are battling with what I'm saying or what, of what you're saying and, you know... Give them the information. Mm. Okay. But good Thank luck. you. I appreciate both of y'all. Thank and you. Auntie, I hope you feel better. Oh, me too. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Shalom. Shalom. Mm. Oh. Hello. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh. 